we are at the famous Shibuya station in Tokyo and um, what we are about to do is we're going to try and find out what we want to eat for breakfast. We've already found our way to, uh, to the station and to the nearest McDonald's, it's within uh, 100 meters from here. And uh, we want to decide before we go to McDonald's what we want to have to eat. And Air here from the Danish Embassy is going to help us. He already showed us a lot on the phone here. Yep. Should we uh, try and make a decision about what we're having for breakfast? Sure. I'll use my uh, 3G mobile phone to open a McDonald's application. Uh, this application gives me the opportunity to pre-order uh, certain uh, McDonald's menus, not all, but certain. And it actually gives me uh, coupons, uh, so I can at a discount select uh, certain Japanese McDonald's menus. You can have premium roasted coffee, is that something that you would like to have? <laughs> it sounds Together with a hot apple pie? Yeah, sounds very good, let's have that. Okay, so uh, let's go. We have, we have arrived at McDonald's. Uh, Eric, why don't you explain to us what we're going to do now? What happened uh, when we used the mobile application to pre-order is that that information was uh, put into the RFID chip on my mobile phone. And uh, when you arrive at the McDonald's restaurant, you transfer that information to the McDonald's uh, ordering system by placing your mobile phone on a reader. And then uh, you can ask the McDonald's staff to make some changes to your menu, some additions, uh, and then in order to pay, you place your mobile phone on the reader once more time, or once more. Okay, let's do it. So I will just point my camera to the QR code and take a picture. Okay, so what I have now is I have transferred the information from the QR code to my mobile phone and it gives me the link. Then I tell my mobile phone that I want to connect to this site. So, this is, uh, we're now accessing the mobile side of this department store. And then we can get all kinds of information concerning campaigns and uh, opening hours, etc. You know, there are many opinions about why it is a success in Japan. Um, I would say that the, the two main uh, reasons. One is that the Japanese service providers, the Japanese operators, they made a system that works. That's easy to use, that doesn't break down. Uh, if you have any kind of trouble, you can just go to the shop and they will fix it for you. And then, of course, you have the scale of the market. You have uh, 110 million uh, 3G subscribers in Japan. So you have quite a significant market uh, to build your solutions upon. And that is actually one of the reasons why the Japanese systems have been not very successful outside Japan. And that is because they're sort of satisfied with the Japanese market. 
they have made several attempts, especially Docomo, have made several attempts to take it abroad, and some have been successful, many have not. Uh, EA, can you tell us a little bit more about the mobile payment system in Japan? How does it work? It's actually uh, provided uh, by uh, Sony, and uh, it's called the Felica technology. It's an RFID based technology. And um, if we are talking about the technology incorporated or embedded in the mobile phones, on each mobile phone you have uh, this chip and on each single chip you can uh, place up to 17 different mobile payments applications. So in Japan we do not we do not have uh, one system for mobile payments. We have several systems for mobile payments. So what you have is one technology, but you have different providers on that technology. Exactly. Yes. On that platform, we have many, many providers. Um, and where does the money come from? You can um, attach your credit card to this service. So you can use your credit card to recharge your prepayment functionality. You can also, as we have seen it several uh, times uh, today, charge your, di your uh, credit card directly. I have been uh, talking to uh, Felica Networks that provides the technology uh, or technical platform for this service. And I've asked them several times, why haven't you implemented one single system from the beginning? And then they tell me that uh, it's actually uh, on purpose, they didn't do it like that. They wanted to encourage competition between the uh, uh, the suppliers of this uh, of these services. I'm going to recharge by let's say five thousand yen. That's around fifty dollars, and then I will. I have the option to charge this directly to my bank account or to my credit card. This is the bank account option, this is the credit card option. And I have, uh, when I registered for this service, I have linked my credit card details to this mobile payment service. And then I click OK. And then it will uh, make the transaction. And it tells me that it will take from 20 to 60 seconds to complete this transaction. So now the transaction has been completed. I am now able to use 10,379 Japanese yen on this uh, prepaid system. I can of course also uh, use my uh, credit card for unlimited purposes.